After her appointment, the new UK Prime Minister Liz Truss has delivered her first address to the nation. And by tradition, it happened from the steps of 10 Downing Street. In her maiden speech as Prime Minister, Lee Strauss has vowed to get Britain working again. She says her focus will be on growing the economy, tax cuts and reforms. Three things that Truss says will be the top focus for her government are economy, energy and putting the NHS on firm footing. Truss has promised action on energy bills within her first week in office. She added that her government would ensure that people get all NHS services that they need. Earlier today, she met with the Queen in Balmoral, who invited her to form a new government. Truss is now the third female Prime Minister to head Britain. For the Tory leader, this has been an incredible political journey and career, from a teenage Liberal Democrat to the leader of the Conservative Party. But Britain's new Prime Minister will have little time to enjoy her victory. This is because of the challenges ahead for her. One, there is inflation and skyrocketing energy bills. Two, there is the war in Ukraine. And three, a general election that is not too far away. Here's Liz Truss' maiden speech as Britain's Prime Minister. Good afternoon. I have just accepted Her Majesty the Queen's kind invitation to form a new, a new government. Let me pay tribute to my predecessor. Boris Johnson delivered Brexit, the COVID vaccine, and stood up to Russian aggression. History will see him as a hugely consequential prime minister. I'm honored to take on this responsibility at a vital time for our country. What makes the United Kingdom great is our fundamental belief in freedom, in enterprise, and in fair play. Our people have shown grit, courage, and determination time and time again. We now face severe global headwinds caused by Russia's appalling war in Ukraine and the aftermath of COVID. Now is the time to tackle the issues that are holding Britain back. We need to build roads, homes, and broadband faster we need more investment and great jobs in every town and city across our country. We need to reduce the burden on families and help people get on in life. I know that we have what it takes to tackle those challenges. Of course, it won't be easy, but we can do it. We will transform Britain into an aspiration nation with high paying jobs, safe streets, and where everyone everywhere has the opportunities they deserve. I will take action this day and action every day to make it happen. United with our allies, we will stand up for freedom and democracy around the world, recognizing that we can't have security at home without having security abroad. As Prime Minister, I will pursue three early priorities. Firstly, I will get Britain working again. I have a bold plan to grow the economy through tax cuts and reform. I will cut taxes to reward hard work and boost business-led growth and investment. I will drive reform in my mission to get the United Kingdom working, building and growing. We'll get spades in the ground to make sure people are not facing unaffordable energy bills and we will also make sure that we are building hospitals, schools, roads and broadband. Secondly, I will deal hands-on with the energy crisis caused by Putin's war. I will take action this week to deal with energy bills and to secure our future energy supply. Thirdly, I will make sure that people can get doctor's appointments and the NHS services they need we will put our health service on a firm footing. By delivering on the economy, on energy and on the NHS, we will put our nation on the path to long-term success. We shouldn't be daunted by the challenges we face. As strong as the storm may be, I know that the British people are stronger. 
Our country was built by people who get things done. We have huge reserves of talent, of energy and determination. I am confident that together we can ride out the storm. We can rebuild our economy and we can become the modern, brilliant Britain that I know we can be. This is our vital mission to ensure opportunity and prosperity for all people and future generations. I am determined to deliver. Thank you. Well, for more on this, our correspondent Alex Aizat is joining us live from London. Hi, Alex. Listening to the new Prime Minister's speech, when you look at Lee's Truss, what can you read about her, even though she's not popular among citizens? What of her character or demeanor? What kind of leader does she come across as? Well, she seems actually quite confident, quietly confident, should I say, rather than full on out there like Boris was saying how he did this, this and that. I think she's trying to allay people's fears. People are very worried about what the future holds, about the costs of everything, cost of living, energy, fuel. And of course, they're, they do worry about abroad as well. You've got the war in Ukraine, the Northern Ireland Protocol. And, and Russia and China as well on there. And I think she's coming across as a type of person that is trying to get things done. She says she wants to get things done, but of course she does have a whole cabinet behind us. So this little moment that we've just seen into her ideology ideology here, you know, just give us a little bit of hope. But don't forget that she is still part of the government that was in power for 12 years. Well, this was earlier, um, where the c we are still waiting for the new prime minister to come out of 10 Downing Street. Earlier, she made a speech saying that she will deliver as the new prime minister of the United Kingdom. She is about to form a new government or a new cabinet. And some of the new ministers and um, people who will be in her government are diverse. And she says she chose a diverse cabinet because she wants to look like and be like a different prime minister from the United Kingdom. So Liz Truss, the new appointed prime minister of the United Kingdom, is in her office right now at number 10 Downing Street and as you can see the media and also the public is waiting for her to emerge from number 10 Downing Street probably she will make another statement or probably she'll just go home but uh, after this we are expecting her to name her new cabinet and her new government which she says will be diverse So this is earlier when um, Liz Truss, the new Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, addressed the public and the media. She has vowed to get Britain working again. She says her focus will be on growing the economy, tax cuts and reforms. Three things that Truss says will be the top focus for her government are economy, energy and putting health care on firm footing. Truss has promised action on energy bills within her first week in office. She added that her government would ensure that people get all health services that they need. Alex Aizat is our correspondent from London. Welcome back. All eyes will now be on the people she chooses for her government or cabinet. Many predict it will be a diverse cabinet. What do you think is a message that new Prime Minister is trying to portray by having a unique government? 
think she's trying to show that with a diversity, it, it comes from all walks of life. And so do the people in the UK. They are from all walks of life. So they should be represented in cabinet. I think that her choices that she's made are definitely because they are loyal to her and they have been singing her praises from the beginning. A few of the party have suggested that she tries to integrate some of those others that weren't singing her praises just to unite the party itself. But when looking at some of those people that she's chosen, it's great to have diversity, but also there has been some controversial people that she's chosen. And uh, I'm not going to go into too much to it, it, each of them, but Kwasi Kwarteng, for example, last week he had his Wikipedia, his Wikipedia page deleted and then reinstated because there was conversations about cronyism and lobbying. So that would be interesting as we're moving forward as he's the chancellor. And Suella as well, she was uh, from a very interesting background. She's a Buddhist and she's quite high up in her religion. So all of these people bring some aspect, a new aspect that we probably haven't seen before in cabinet, but we're just so used to Etonians sitting on the front bench. Mm -hmm. So I think that she's making a really brave choice here about who she's choosing. Live from London, our correspondent Alex Aizat, thank you. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.